Yeah, I, yeah, and and trying to cover our bases, but you know, always like the basement at Jay's. We, we always end up in the basement. It's like a frat house it's downstairs. Like a frat house we can be loud. Yeah. We can rock us. Yeah, the, yeah. There's comfort and freedom in that, and it's a completely different thing than when all of us write together, or and completely different than when the girls write. I'm sure we're the love junkies. Um, Estrogen, <laughs> testosterone. <laughs> no, what you can hear on tracks like um, "Night on Our Side" and then um, "Rolling," "Rolling." Wish we were with Nat. With, with Nat, but and I can always tell by the like the light in Natalie's eyes when I came, when I came down to the basement. I was like, "What have y'all been doing?" And they had they had like the whole thing on "Rolling," and she's <laughs> like, "Wait till you hear this." And so yeah, there's different combinations that work. Um, for some reason on this record, it was it seemed to be, and on the last record a little bit, yeah. um, we seemed to kind of land in these, I don't know if they're therapy sessions, you know, like a... But there's definitely comfort. Yeah. yeah. And it's the nature of being together. We're in each other's dressing room a lot, and we're yeah. in each other's dressing room a lot on the road, so we'll, we'll beat ideas around, you know, and, and you're, or Jimmy might stop by the house and say, hey, let's play play some stuff for a little bit. And so it's just kind of a, a, a natural thing that happens with a new baby I would think that uh, a song like beat up Bible has to have like a, a special resonance I, I'd love to hear you talk about that a little bit and hear each of you talk about who you think about when you when you guys do that song or when you hear that song in my head that song has such a visual picture in it um, we have in my family a beat up Bible and it is just that the bindings falling off the pages are hardly, some of the pages are just stuffed in there still. Um, in the front is written the births of all the children since the mid-1800s in our family. And some of the children weren't even named because they lived a day or two. And so it's, it's just, oh, it's so special. It's such a treasure. So our family has always had that, of course. And then we heard this song a few years ago, this Hillary song. And we all, we almost, almost all, cut it. Yeah, we almost cut it before. And we all just fell in love with the song. But, we couldn't um, forget about it. Mm -mm, no, it's it's just so special. And whether your family has a beat-up Bible or not, you we're just growing up in the South, there's just that sentiment of family and, and God and, and you know what saves you. And um, and for me, I, I just, that song just fills up my heart. And, and I, I see my great-grandmother and her little trailer where I used to stay with her reading her Bible. I see my daddy um, every night and when I kissed him goodnight he was sitting in his bed reading his Bible and and so it just I see so many pictures in my head as I sing that song. It's, it's really emotional for all of us. Same thing. I think about my grandmother. Um, where I grew up I lived here and my grandmother was kind of just out the back door and I spent a lot of time there when my parents were working or whatever I stayed with her and She's got the big centerpiece Bible when you walk in the living room. It's out under the Jesus picture. Yeah, <laughs> my grandmother had that too. So that, that's what I think about. I think about my grandmother's house. <laughs> I think about my, I mean, uh, there, I have a, there's a picture of our family because um, my dad used to um, sing at church a lot and and lead worship like he's he would volunteer and you know, do the hymns on Sunday and stuff. And I, there's a picture of us that is hilarious. I, I swear to you, all five of us, my family, just think of like, I'm not gonna say the year, but we had, I had knee, knee high socks on and a little skirt and my hair pulled back and I looked very like prim and proper and a stack of Bibles, <laughs> like all of us, like they're all like, I'm like, did we need any more Bibles? There were like 15 Bibles, but um yeah, I mean, you know, we, we grew up similar, all of us, so we have that heritage of faith and um, the sentiment of that song, the history, the foundation that you have as a family, um, that's what I think of, just family. Yeah, me too. I mean, we didn't actually have a, a, the Bible in our, that was passed down through the ages, but I just know that that unity of our family, when we would go to church together, I have that memory of it. That was when we were all together, you know, and we were all unified in something that was seemed to be stronger and it pulled us through the tough times. We had each other, you know, and that's what it makes me think of too. It, it's about, it's not just about the Bible, it's about the, the 
rich heritage of the people in your life that make that mean something.